Okay, I've had a request for more information about how to convert a quadcopter with Peter's three poles method so you can fly something like this, about this kind of size, made of foam, some kind of plane that uses just two of the motors from a quadcopter and its circuit. If you already know the overview about uh, motor sizes, lipo batteries and etc, you can skip forward to here. where I'll be showing taking apart this new in the box quadcopter and doing the same thing so people know what to do exactly. Right, so what I'll do is, I'll just run through quite quickly um, various, just an overview really of quadcopters and uh, then the conversions. So this particular model is 8.5 inch diameter, so it's a nutball and um, this is the kind of thing, the kind of weight will be about an ounce that would be a good weight for one of this kind of thing to fly. But other quadcopters, very popular ones, include uh, the Furry Bee F36, the Eosheen EO10, uh, models like that. Also, say, the Hubsan X4. Now, they all come with these tiny little remotes, um, which do actually work very, very well indeed. Uh, you would be surprised, really, that with such small sticks, they do actually offer a lot of control. Um, you can extend the sticks. I've used an old uh, aerial here from uh, FM radio um, and that helps or some actually support different protocols. You can look on RC groups and see which protocols they support and then you can use a proper uh, radio control transmitter, full sized one. And in fact these JGRC flat uh, Santa Claus ones do use the, what's called the Bayang protocol which means you can use various radios. I think the Devolution series and others. Um, of course, I'm not, I'm not affiliated at all with JJRC, I'm not affiliated with anyone to be honest. Um, and uh, just to add to that, there's, there's no adverts in my videos either for at least the first couple of weeks. So this is just really to help folks out, especially the chap that asked for more details. So, um, let's have a look now. When you get a quad culture, let's see, I'll pick, well, I'll pick this one here. Uh, you've got your battery underneath, normally they run about five minutes. Most of the little ones, the kind of whoop size, these things, about 63 millimeters is the diameter across. They have six millimeter motors in them and uh, you'll get about five minutes to flight and all you're going to use for this conversion is the back two, so you'll have two spares, which is always pretty good for the crashes and whatever else. But as I say, you get about five minutes and they're normally pretty useful for um, putting an all-in-one camera on, you can fly them around with FPV goggles and they make great little systems for about $20 and that's the normal price you pay for one of these things. Um, just to add as well, this one is actually on sale at Zapal's at the moment for $14.99 free shipping. Um, all of these type of things have gone up a couple of dollars, I think because of the popularity of what you can do with them, most are around about the uh, $15-$17 price point nowadays. So. About the size of these transmitters, uh, this is a regular um, airplane one, and it's a two channel 27 megahertz, but you can see very, very similar in size and weight. They weigh about between two and three grams, so absolutely nothing really. Uh, but, of course, if you're using six millimeter motors, you can't really power much either. So again, keep down to about the one ounce in weight. Right, so what I think I'll do is, I'll open this now and we'll have a look what's inside and then I'll show what to do to take the thing apart such that you could be able to make something like this or I don't know what, a mosquito bomber or something like that. I've also got a couple of questions too. What happens if you take apart a hexacopter? That's <laughs> something to explore. Alright, so put some of this aside and we'll take this apart. So when you get in the box, here's the thing really, what to expect. And this is quite true for most of these little models, and you do get quite a lot for your money, in my opinion. Okay, so... First of all, you've got spare propellers, a charger, and you've got a little screwdriver. And the reason is because there's some kind of weird law. If something has got a screw in it for the batteries, you've always, you've always got to include a screwdriver. Okay, then we've got the Santa Claus figure. We've got the quadcopter itself, and we've got the controller. I should have left that blooper in, I forgot what the buttons did on the controller, but never mind. Right, basically overview. They're, mode 2 these are normally, which means you've got your throttle on the left stick, 
And on the right you've got, well, basically your steering, but you've also got your yaw which turns the quadcopter this way around. So anyway, yeah, and then you've got your trim buttons on the bottom and uh, you'll work it out pretty quickly, but a couple of videos watched on YouTube of people flying them around, or indeed reading the manual for us guys could be a good thing to do. As I say, I've forgotten completely and I should have left the blooper in. Anyway, so, very simple things with about 50 metre range or 160 feet. So now let's take this thing apart. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is to take the top off, just clips at the side. Now the thing why I like these is, when you get this uh, screwdriver, is they have plug-in motors. Then you can just take another one off if you convert it to a plane and plug that in instead. But you're supposed to keep the blue and red as the right hand side motors and you're supposed to keep the black and white as the left. So although if you don't, they don't last as long. They will still work, but you'll not get as many flights out of them. Take this thing apart. I use in the included screwdriver, which is just so handy. So just two screws on the top. Take those out. Very flexible frame as well, you see if you hit walls or anything with it or people you know inadvertently then you'll not damage anything. Right, so there's the screws. Lift off the top of the board here. And you can see now how the motors do plug in to the various points. And all we're going to need is the two back ones. You can tell which is the back because that's where the plug is that the battery goes into. And in fact, we'll slide the battery out. In this case, it's a 260 milliamp 3.7 volt. So, the next thing to do is to take these propellers off. Right, so what you can use is anything with a flat blade on it. There are tools you can get as well, but uh, I'll just find a flat screwdriver does it. We just need the two back ones. There's the plug where the battery plugs in, so this is the back. And the main thing is, uh, just to be very careful when lifting out, you can just use a kind of a you know, twist it, turn it around halfway, twist again a bit and the thing should actually just pretty much pop off. The, uh, the motor shafts are alright, they're quite strong really. There we go, that's that one off. Now, to not confuse which side around they go, the next part is to unclip this motor. So this is uh, the red one on the right hand side. There we go. Now pass that through underneath. It is actually quite easy to do really. There's a little um, notch, bring the motor wires away and then perhaps push through with both fingernails to bring the motor out of the insert part there and then you can remove the motor. Now, once you've removed that motor you can plug it straight back in again. So I'll do that now. And doing it this way just means that you don't get the motors confused. And so what I'll do, as you can see, we've got this one still attached now. Put the propeller back on and that means you can't confuse the different ones. Okay, I'll do the other one and come back in a minute. Right, so, so here's both motors. There's the back where the battery plugs in, so this will be our left motor and this will be our right motor. Left, as I was saying, black and white wires, right, red and blue. So now, to take the circuit off the quadcopter frame, we just remove the other two motors and they can now be used as spares. And what we've got is what we need, except for we've got that terrible speaker on the bottom and that just does simply come away quite easily. Just prise it away, it's on double sided tape and then really there's actually no need to desolder. Just do that a few times. There we go. 
So now there we are, that's it, we've got the circuit and we can now mount this to any design of about a one ounce plane um, and you've got your left motor and your right motor like this all ready to go on something.